Um, we don't want to worry about mm -hmm. too much here. We want to worry about some great stuff here, and I like what we've mm -hmm. uh, displayed here. I know that you have been to the Calgary International Beer Fest before, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What is it about it that you like? Hmm. Besides the beer. <laughs> beer. Besides the beer. <laughs> Why else would I go? Food and beer. What more do you need? Great, great company, yes. great, great people. Always good people. And that's why we brought to Brett Hopper here today, yeah. who's from Alberta Beer Festivals. And uh, Beer Fest is this weekend in Calgary. Yeah. It's what is part, it? of, part of what we try to promote with our shows is that we do have that, that I know it's a beer festival, but we do promote that family atmosphere. All the vendors, they know each other, they look forward to this time of year, they all get to see each other again. Mm. It's, it's really a snapshot of what the industry is like for the year. It's totally bang on. I mean, it's great yeah. for all of us in the industry. We know, you know, we see each other a lot throughout the year. We do a lot of things together, but it's really great that we all kind of have this one weekend that we know we're all going to be at, and we all get to spend the weekend hanging out together and, and promoting um, this industry that we love so much. So it's, a, it's, a, it's such a fantastic For event. those that aren't a part of the industry, they get to see mm -hmm. that, that it's not a huge competition. I mean, we are comp we, they're all competitors, yeah. but there is that family vibe. It's awesome. I think that's what's really interesting about beer right now and breweries is that nobody's fighting with each other. You're you're in the same markets, but everyone is so friendly with each other. Everybody's tastes are different. Mm -hmm. Well, Sock, I also hear too that you know maybe maybe the the breweries are not fighting with each other mm -hmm. as Kate was saying, but some of the bigger bigger beer companies, if you will, are not too happy with some of the smaller ones. You take a little bit of market share away. Yeah, and would that be fair? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, with the growth of craft beer, especially in the, the beer world, um, we're seeing, you know, people are being more exposed with all the growth of all the new breweries and different, mar uh, different products coming into market, um, that there is more than one or two flavors out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's no wrong answers in beer. So if someone really gets attached to IPAs, th there's a whole world for them to explore. And same with porters and stouts and, and you get into, there's a plethora of different styles out there and you know we, for a long time we've only been exposed to one or two styles and, and, and marketing and now it's actually based on you know flavor and mm -hmm. you know personality of beer and, and what you actually want to drink. You know winter time people are lend, lending their palates to bigger darker beers. Yeah. Summertime you want something a little bit more refreshing. Mm -hmm. Now we're introduced to you know, the first time you've ever been introduced to a saison, you're like, holy, this is right, nice and crisp. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, it's different. It's a different world, it's right? It's creative yeah. marketing, yeah. too, Jake. I, you know, it's, it's not just, here, here's, try this out. The names are fancy, the, mm -hmm. the designs are fancy. Well, I think, and I think a lot of, um, of the craft industry focuses less on the sort of traditional marketing that you would expect from some of the big mm -hmm. macro breweries and focuses more on community. We all, you know, we're all really part of, of the beer community, but also part of the greater community of Calgary. And, um, you know, a big thing for us at Village is everything that we focus on is how can we make Calgary a, a better place to be, mm -hmm. a cooler place to be. And it's about the more that we grow as a brewery, the more we can grow the community of Calgary. And I think all the small breweries kind of focus on the same sort of things mm -hmm. as instead of throwing all that money at a traditional advertising route or marketing route like some of the big macro breweries do, we really just try and, and do some experiential marketing and get people in Calgary involved in what we're doing and just try and put on some really cool events. Represent the city? It's about yeah. Go, about going to those festivals, those summer festivals, keeping well, track and going to them. Yeah. And that's why Beer Fest has seen that over the last couple of years. How has it grown? Since it first started, aside, aside from the giant footprint that we're <laughs> we're now part of, the, we're now taking up the entire BMO Center, which is we're, bi we're as big as the car show. That's yeah. great stuff. It's, it's when you try and wrap your head around it, you get lost. And but just why is that happening, Brett? I mean, sure, there's an interest in, in what we just talked about, but but what is what is it you guys are tapping into that no one's tapped into before? We're trying to tell people that there there like Sock said, there is no wrong answers in beer. Everybody has mm. a different palate, a different taste. I can't hate on somebody for their favorite beer, whatever that is. Yeah. But we want to try and introduce you to stuff that's similar, stuff that's completely different, or you know, if you're looking for a new favorite, we can help we can help you find that new favorite too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think even in beer, like now with the you know experimental hops and, and all the different, we have more colors to paint with in, in, in a sense. We, we, we can make beers that we couldn't make 10, 15 years ago. Um, and that's a lot of fun too, because 
it's even new and, and fun for people that have been doing this for 10 years. So. Well, you're not going to do it if there isn't a demand. Mm -hmm. And But if you go to different pubs as well, too, and different bars and different restaurants, I would suggest that even that's hard to convince them to say, hey, try ours. Is it, though? I mean, you guys are out in the bars and... Yeah, bringing your beer doors, to, to restaurants. Well, I think a lot of it is there's, you know, it, it's more than just the beer movement. It's sort of the whole food movement has really moved towards sort of this local aspect and craft beer sort of, it, we're, we're seeing a good rise because of that movement and, and consumers' demands to have local local ingredients in their products. And so, you know, as beer producers, we're very lucky that we live in Alberta. We've got some of the most fantastic ingredients growing at our doorstep that we yeah. get to use. So we can use local ingredients. We can, um, you know, we can grow the local economy by employing mm -hmm. local, local people to make the beer. And people are starting to starting to travel for beer and wanting to go into a place and say yeah. what's brewed here, the what's there. different here yeah. than what I can get everywhere else. And you know, for the local breweries here, it's really great that it doesn't matter if someone's first taste of craft beer is from Village or from Wild Rose or from Last Best or from Big Rock. When people start moving into the craft, um, into the craft area, they're eventually going to taste all our beer. So it's fantastic for all of us. If someone you know has a Last Best IPA and that's their first introduction to to the craft, eventually they're going to come over and try one of the village beers. So it's great for all of us. Mm -hmm. So it's less competition to get those taps and it's more about let's just grow the craft sector. Calgarians are open to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once people start identifying with freshness, we're going to see a, a bigger push towards local. And, and that's the, one of the things that we're really trying to educate people on. Because mm -hmm. beers, in a lot of ways, it's a very uh, delicate product and you know, it doesn't it doesn't need to be filtered, it can be consumed fresh, it has a, a nice bright taste when it is and, mm -hmm. and people will stay, start shopping for that freshness. And, shopping and local. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's We've a, heard that message countless times. Yeah. And it actually really translates to better product and beer. So. And fresh beer is absolutely better yeah. beer. 